Hi everyone, welcome to the sale of my 1992 Ducati 888 Strada. Um, had this in my collection alongside a 916 that I just parted with. Um, just got 16,000 miles on it and I think it is arguably behind the 916 the most iconic superbike that Ducati have ever done. And the fact that they had this out, you know, the 851 and the 888 um, rolling straight into the 916, it's just going to be that period where I think it, it can't really be better by Ducati. You know, they're doing well in racing now and everything, but all the sort of back-to-back -back championships off of this and the early foggy eras and then into 94 with the 916 as well. Um, this is a Strada model. They came uh, up to 92, I believe, with the black wheels, which is correct for this one with the yellow rear um, arm on there. So that was all factory it's how they came and then in 93 so I did have a 93 one as well which I sold uh, they went over to the gold wheels so this to me is the very last of the proper looking I love it with the black wheels I think it just looks absolutely fantastic uh, and that be on a K Reg 92 um, it's really really original this bike um, it's what drew me to it when I first bought it um, obviously mileage which is great you know if you've got a bike that's coming up to 30 years old with 16,000 miles that's fantastic for any collector I think but um, these just command respect I had this in my shop during the lockdown period and categorically out of all the bikes that I had this is the one that most people got drawn straight to you know they walk past and much newer bikes or different stuff and they're just very rare you know it's not the rarest bike in the world but you never really see them you know I haven't got any of our regular customers with a, a triple eight um, it's just really cool it rides lovely as well you know I actually think they were very understated as a road bike I'm part of a um, Facebook 888 sort of club there's a few people that use them regularly most of them mantelpiece and collectors bikes but a few people that have done quite a lot of miles on them and um, yeah you can see why they're a very usable super bike classic I think this is probably much more at home sat in a collection like with my bikes how I've got them and just started up regularly um, I popped a new battery onto it recently other than that I haven't really had to do a thing to it um, it's been very reliable to fire up and just spin around the block um, all the early 90s stuff it was all Kajiva affiliated so you got the little Kajiva elephant marks pretty much everything up at the, you know, the fuse box cover and the fuel filler caps but yeah very very cool very sort of race so I just don't think they make any road bikes like this where they've really derived them from the from the race bikes um, so it's original panels original paintwork I have got some uh, marks on there you can see a very faint crack that's sort of running underneath the lacquer it's not prominent but it is there um, the nose going to the side panel they're all original reds loads of people find that the shade of red I mean, I'm being really picky here but the shade of red in certain lights you can't even see it but yeah, it can look very very slightly different but it's all original paint uh, there's a couple of just touched in red marks that was done prior to me I don't really want to paint panels I think it's better to leave them exactly as they are it gives it much better patina small little mark there just to the right of the E um, the paint on the wheels looks absolutely superb and I believe they've been refurbed at some point because they look um, I can't call them brand new but they look very close to brand new um, Brembo calipers are lovely and clean stainless lines on there fork legs are nice there's no pitting and stanchions or anything which is nice to see um, tanks in really really nice condition um, there's a bit of pitting on the the gold off the filler cap but again I don't really want to change that um, all the sides nice here there's a couple of marks in here um, I don't put any polishes or sort of turtle waxes into them to try and hide any of the colour so you could dull that down a bit if you want um, side case there is quite clearly been repainted at some point again prior to my ownership I'm sure that should be a slightly more um, frame sort of coloured uh, clutch cover uh, but it's nice the actual main block of the engine looks nice and clean I say the rear shot for one of these is very good condition all around by the footrest and the bolts and everything that's all 
really nice. Uh, nice to see the original source. Tiny, tiny marks there. There's no dents on that, but just a few what I call genuine age related marks where you get the odd storage mark or the odd something that's lent against it. There's no horizontal scuffs or anything silly like that on it. Um, rear hugger in there, and a couple of marks to the top of it. Just trying to be really picky here. Because it's sort of like the warrants being picky, right? You know, it's one of those things that when I go to look at a bike, I want to know all the ins and outs of it. I mean, generally speaking, you do that and you go, it's beautiful. And when you get close, it is still beautiful, but you will find marks. So just please be slightly wary of that. I have had a couple of people buying 90s bikes, expecting 2017 sort of condition. It just doesn't really happen unless you rebuild them. And if you rebuild them, then they um, don't really hold the value to me of what they should be. Anyway, I digress. So it's got the um, genuine Ducati um, solo seat cover. It's got a little chip missing out of it here. And there is literally just a little bit of cover put over there. I have got a guy I use for sort of uh, filling in paint work and that I was going to do purely because it is just a bolt on genuine um, or slip on, you know, uh, seat cover. It covers the pillion seat on there and then the handles pull out quite cleverly. Um, but I haven't had been able to do that. Unfortunately, he's actually um, closed the business at the moment because he's ill. So just be aware of that if you wanted to peel off that sort of sticky cover. There is a, a, a little chunk, like a sort of end of your thumb chunk that's chipped out of there. Presumably someone dropped it previously, but there we go. Um, so yeah, original cans, obviously really nice condition. Change pockets are good. Again, just going into like the wheels, you can see they're Brembo wheels standard. They're just in lovely condition. Um, just some um, limp cloth marks there. So I would say the wheels have been done because it looks so bright. All the panels around here, really nice. There is a slight, um, again, I'm being super, super picky, but the inside of this panel has got like a shite, uh, um, <laughs> get my words out correct, Matthew, slightly rude, apologies. Um, there is a slight chamfer on that panel. I know maybe Dean has been a bit over the top, but I'm just trying to pick out every tiny mark, just a couple of small parts here. But again, really, really clean around this side. Right, so where the magic happens. Let's fire her up. Uh, in the run position. Oh. Hold the button down for about a second or so. Strada with 16,000 miles. Serious inquiries only, please. I don't often say that, but uh, I think if you're watching this video and reading the description, study the photos, you know what one of these is and its rarity. Uh, happy to answer any other questions you have, uh, but hopefully the description is uh, more than enough in this detailed video, uh, which actually is the longest bike walk around video I've done. I think uh, this should answer pretty much everything you'd like to know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>